In this video, I'll show you how to display the add to cart button on your WooCommerce shop page and category pages in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our shop page and this is what you'd typically see on your WooCommerce shop page. So we've got some variable options here and here it says select option. So there isn't any add to cart button here. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how you can display the add to cart button using two different methods. Okay, so the first one is using our variation swatches plugin, which will allow you to display the variation swatches on the shop um, archive page and the category pages as well. We can go ahead and customize the design. So for example, if we choose this color here, instead of saying um, black, we can actually show um, the black version of this particular product here. And we can do various different customizations. So we can display a drop down and so much more. But I'll leave the link in the description below in terms of how you can actually further customize this and then we can just add it to cart. Okay, so the second method I'll show you is using the WeSuite um, product table plugin. So this plugin will convert your shop page into a streamlined order form similar to this one. So the customer can quickly choose um, the color they want, choose the quantity. And as you can see, there's a, it's already um, checked this box here and we can do it for multiple products, okay? And then when we finish, we can just click add selected to cart and then it will basically bulk add all the selected products to cart. So it streamlined the ordering process for your customers. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to go ahead and head over to WooSuite.com and download the WooSuite Variation Swatches plugin. This one's free. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you want to create um, the product table style design, just head over to WooSuite.com and download the WooSuite product table plugin. As you can see, we can customize the design. So for example, we can display our products similar to this one this one and so much more okay but again i'll leave the link in the description below and once you've done so let's head over to our dashboard okay so assuming you've downloaded those plugins the next step is to go ahead and upload the plugin so you'd go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this wee sweet menu here click on activate once you've entered in your license key it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay and then from here we can actually go ahead and enable our product table plugin and we can also enable the variation swatches plugin as well. If you've got a pro version, then you can also enable the variation swatches pro too. We'll start with the first version using our variation swatches plugin. So we'll just click manage. If you don't see this manage link, just refresh the page and you'll see variation swatches here as well. Okay, so we just scroll down. So we'll scroll past all these settings. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below on how to actually go ahead and configure this um, configure the various different swatches. Okay, but for this particular example, all we need to do is go ahead and navigate to archive slash shop. And then we just go ahead and enable this option that says show swatch label. Okay, we can also show the clear link as well. So the customer can basically um, clear out whatever they've selected. Okay, so once you've enabled these two options, just go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, and now when we view our shop page, we'll see the variation swatches just like this. And again, the customer can quickly choose their selection and just add it to cart. Okay, so now we'll move on to the second method, which is transforming our shop page um, into a streamlined order form like this. Okay, and this is using the WeSuite product table plugin. Okay, so we'll navigate back to our dashboard. And then this time we'll navigate to... Um, suite product table okay so i'll just open this in a new tab okay and now we just go ahead and create a new product table so i've already created one okay which i've titled new store page so i'm going to disable this and then i'll walk you through how to create yours step by step okay so we'll just click add new table we'll just give it a name it's just for internal purposes okay so we're here where it says quick order form page We'll basically just leave it as blank and then we'll navigate down to order form information and then here we'll add the product name so we'll just drag and drop it here and then we'll add a product image we'll add um, the product category we'll add the price and we'll also add the add to cart button okay so i'm going to rename this um, column here where it says name so i'm going to change this to say product update and then we can x this off Okay, we'll scroll down for the image size. I'm going to change this to be a 100 um, pixel width by a 100 pixel height. 
I'm going to enable Lightbox and then we'll scroll down to where it says Bulk Add to Cart. I'm going to select um, Button and Checkbox. I'm going to enable the Add to Cart behavior, Ajax, and I'm going to allow customers to select the quantities as well from the shop page. Um, for the variations, I'm going to go ahead and allow customers to choose from a um, drop down selection. And then here, where it says Add Selected at Position, I'm going to show it at the top and also at the bottom as well of the table. We can rename the Add Selected um, to Cart text. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Then we'll navigate to Form Control. For Product Filters, I'm going to select Show Based on um, the Columns in a Table. Okay, and that's because I've got um, the categories here and if we've got any variable products, it will also show the attributes as well as a filter. So we'll just navigate back to um, order form controls and a lot of these settings I'm going to leave as default. Um, reset um, button, I'm going to enable this one so customers can reset their selection. Um, for order form design, I'm going to leave it blank. Bulk variation, I'm going to leave that as well. And for performance, if you've got over 500 products in your store, for example, then maybe you want to enable lazy load or even um, caching as well. But I'm just going to leave everything as it is. Save changes. Okay, then we'll navigate back to our general settings area. Okay, and then here where it says shop pages, I'm going to go ahead and select the product table in which we just created, which is button on shop page. I'm going to select it again for the product category and also the product tag page as well. So we'll select it here. So this will basically override um, the default template with our product table template. Okay, so now when we actually refresh our shop page, we should see our new design. Okay, and here um, customers again can quickly choose their selection and just add it to cart. They can view the image in a light box. And whilst we're here as well, I'm just going to show the image first and then the product name. So I'll quickly rearrange this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this product table in which we just created. Let's navigate to order form information. I'm just going to drag and drop this here. Save changes. Okay, and now we can go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, and that looks good. Okay, and that's how you show the Add to Cart button on your WooCommerce shop page and archive page also. I've showed you two solid different methods in how you can achieve this. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.